Hey folks, the DJI Avada 2, the company's newest FPV drone and Avada's replacement, was just unveiled. Arriving over two years after the beginner-friendly FPV drone originally hit the shelves in August 2022, the Avada 2 is meant to be used in conjunction with DJI's recently released DJI RC Motion 3 and DJI Goggles 3. Among other improvements, the drone adds longer flight times and an improved sensor to the series. Discover all the key distinctions between the DJI Avada and the DJI Avada 2 by continuing to watch. With a bigger image sensor than its predecessor, DJI has given the Avada 2 the advantage in terms of image quality. With its 1 per 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, the Avada 2 offers better low light performance and a larger dynamic range. For immersive aerial photography, the sensor is combined with an ultra wide angle lens that has a viewing angle of 155 degrees. The camera can record in high definition at up to 4K at 60 frames per second or in slow motion at 2.7K at 100 frames per second. For color grading, the Avada 2 additionally has a 10-bit D-Log M color mode. With a bigger 1 per 1.7 inch CMOS sensor and the same 155 degree viewing angle, the original DJI Avada was outfitted with this feature. Along with supporting 4K at 60fps resolution, the drone can also record slow motion footage at 2.7K at 120fps when used in conjunction with the DJI Googles 2 or FPV Goggles V2. The DJI Avada 2 can stay in the air for up to 23 minutes, which is a longer flying duration than its predecessor. But the flight time of 18 minutes less than the DJI Avada, the Avada 2 is superior by roughly 5 minutes. Additionally, the Avada 2 enables PD fast charging, so you shouldn't have to wait a long time between charges to resume flight. Additionally, the drone can be used with DJI's new two-way charging hub, which allows you to move leftover power from several batteries to the battery that has the highest charge level at any one time. The highest transmission distance supported by the DJI Avada 2 is 13 km, and it can have transmission delay as low as 24 milliseconds. This is with a maximum transmission bandwidth of 60 megabits per second and 1080 at 100 frames per second image quality. With the FPV Goggles V2, the original Avada can transmit video up to 10 km, with a maximum delay of 28 milliseconds for 810p at 120 fps video. With the Goggles 2, the latency rises to 30 milliseconds for 1080p at 100 fps video. 50 megabits per second is the maximum bitrate for video transmission. The integrated propeller guard on the DJI Avada 2 is lighter and more maneuverable than it was on the Avada 1. This improves the drone's ability to maneuver through confined locations. Similar to the DJI Avada, the Avada 2 also features a turtle mode that, in the event that the drone lands on its back, instantly returns it to its takeoff position. What do you think about the new drone, is it worth the upgrades, write your opinion in the comments below, have a nice day and God bless you.